Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learning. This is the next video in the series. We are making a clinic management system. If you are interested in this video or in this series, uh, or if you are interested in learning, then you should watch until the end of this video. I'm sure you will learn thing too. And um, in this video, we are going to actually work on, I think we are done with working on the visit form almost. I don't think anything else needs to be added uh, in terms of this area, but we are still going to be uh, working for the visit form that means in this video i'm going to demonstrate how to do the billing mechanism right so we'll set up billing mechanism and um, we'll also do some of the business logics we will implement uh, in this particular video tutorial so it's going to be a good one if you are interested in learning about vba in general and how to uh, add business logics using vba so do watch until the end if you have if you have not watched the previous videos in this series i would strongly suggest that you do Anyway, if you're on YouTube channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. In any case, if you're subscribed to the channel, make sure you do hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload any video. Right, let me just explain you what I'm going to do. As I said, we are going to work on billing. So when we talk about billing, we have to talk about, you know, some of the, um, for example, in this case, consultancy charges, you know, that the doctors will charge. So for that, I've added a column in uh, the staff table that represents the fee. Um, or the consultation fee that the doctor, uh, we can set the consultation fee. This is only sample, but we can set according to their expertise and experience, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, I have also modified the billing table. So if you have been following, please uh, change this, modify this based on this. Earlier it was just one column uh, amount, but I thought you know it will be a good idea to see what amount was due, what was collected, and what is the balance if there is any. All right. And in this particularly, by the way, this table is going to be uh, sent in the center stage, although there are other tables, but this one is important because ultimately what we want is when we click on a button here on the visit form, we want the status of the visit to be changed to billing created. And also we want the information to be captured here in the billing uh, table. And that's why I said this table is going to be in the center stage of this video. So what else i have uh, changed well there's one more thing medicine okay so for each medicine i've added a column rsp i thought okay because since we are creating that mechanism of creating prescription why not adding the price of each medicine so it gets calculated whenever there is a prescription created so if you have been following please modify these tables accordingly and now let's get started now let me show you what i'm going to build so as I explained, I hope that you got the idea, is that we want a button here. So for example, we'll change the create button to billing button. So we want a button here. In a button, when we click, a couple of things we need to uh, have happen. So number one is the status should be changed to treatment updated, or sorry, status should be changed to uh, billing created or billing initiated, whatever you want to call it. And we want the information to be captured here in the billing table as well. Uh, along with the amount due, which is going to be a combination of everything. What do I mean by everything? Well, we have a doctor consultation fee, right? So that plus whatever medicine has been added as part of prescription, we want to calculate the price of all and we want to have one price that is going to sit here in the due column. That's what we are going. That's where we are going to use VBA and some of the functions like D sum function. All right. But to do that, I'm going to set up a query, which means I'm going to make a query, which will actually have a prescription records in them. Now, we actually have to have prescription uh, query because remember, at the end of this video series, video tutorial series, what we want eventually is we want a prescription printout, you know, as form of printout or even the billing as form of printout. And for that, we have to have a query already. So why not making query now, which will be helping us to actually calculate the price of the medicine easily. So let's go ahead and create a query. So we'll go and query design and we will get the uh, prescription. All right. We will have the medicine table as well. Okay, so we can get the RSP from the medicine table. So here we go, prescription ID, uh, we'll have visit ID, definitely. We want the medicine name, we want the dosage, frequency, start date, end date, notes, and the last one is RSP. So we want this information, which will help us actually to, uh, not only we can gather the information in terms of medicine price, but also we can use the same query 
when we are building the reports, for example, prescription printout or invoice printout or visit printout, we can use the same query for that purpose as well. So let's save this, save this query and we will call it prescription queue. All right. So let's call that. Uh, copy the name. I'll tell you why I'll copy, why I have copied the name. Okay. Now let's move to visit form. And in here, as I said, we can change the create button to billing button. And uh, we will click on the form design and we'll click on property sheet. And we will go in here in the event tab. But before we go in the event tab, we'll move to the other tab of the property sheet. And we'll say here, we'll say uh, BTN create should be changed to BTN billing. All right. Now we'll go to the event tab and on click event dot 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 code builder. And here we are in the core builder in the VBA editor. Now in here, we will add the VBA and uh, I hope you have understood the logic what I'm going to do. So I'm going to calculate the doctor's, um, you know, consultancy, uh, consul consultancy, consultancy fees. And I'm going to calculate the prescription charge, whatever the prescription medic medicine price is. We'll calculate all of that together and we will present it into the uh, billing table as well. So for that, we have to, you know, we have to write VB code and some of the variables. So for example, dim and we'll say uh, doc fee. So as currency, all right. And we'll say dim medicine fee as currency. Ooh. And then we'll have another variable called dim total fee as currency okay now we have declared these variables but we have to now tell what this each variable means so for doc fee i think it's straightforward if we'll go to the visit with visit form and if we will select this uh, combo box and if we'll go to the data tab rosos and here we are in the query builder we can fetch uh, the information in terms of consultancy fee and by adding the column here. So how many columns now? Zero, one, two, three, four. So it's in column number four. So let's save that. Let's close it. But we'll go back to the property sheet. Why? Because we will change the column count and we will add another zero at the end. All right, that's it. So now if we'll come to the uh, VB editor. We'll say, uh, you know, doc fee equals me dot doctor id dot column and remember the column number column number four that's right now let's tackle uh, the med fee so med fee uh, equals now in here we will use the d sum function and when we will uh, when i'll put parenthesis it will ask me hey what is the um, you know what is expression as a string basically what do we want to calculate so we want to uh, do the sum of a field called rsp so if i'll go to the query again, prescriptions queue. We want the sum of this field because uh, guess what? For one visit, there can be multiple lines and therefore we want to calculate all of the value in this field or in this column. And then we want to present it into due fee, or due charges, okay? Fee or charges, whatever you want to call it. I will call it fee, okay? All right, so how do we do that? Well, we already have a D sum function. And in here we will say, hey, look for RSP column and also look from the query called prescription. I hope that's the correct name, prescription queue. And, and it is asking, hey, do you have any criteria? And I'll say, yeah, absolutely, I do have a criteria. And the criteria is the visit ID because that's the unique ID we have provided. So we'll say visit ID equals ampersand me dot visit ID, okay? So with this line of code, what we are asking access, we are asking, hey, go to this query called prescription queue. By the way, I would like to copy the name of the query because I don't trust the typing much uh, because I usually can have a mistake in spelling. So now I'm sure. So what I'm asking, what we are asking Microsoft Access, hey, go to this query, search for a column called RSP and do the sum of the value. But here's the catch. We want you to search we want you to calculate the RSP for a visit ID that is given in this particular form. So that's the criteria. It's very, very important that we do that. Now, once that is done, now we can move on and we can calculate the total fee. Total fee is actually a combination of these both. All right. So doc fee plus met fee. So we can say total fee equals doc fee plus met fee. All right. That's it. Once we are done with that, 
now we will have a total fee okay now let's move on and now let's actually look into how do we add this information into this billing table okay so let's go to the design view of this billing table but before i do that i would like to copy the name of this table and now i can actually go in the design view and now it will be easy for me to refer to these fields so we'll say uh, and to do that by the way we have to declare a variable I, you know we have to use vba to uh, transfer the information to that table so we'll declare a variable for that so we'll say dim rs billing um as a record set and then we will set that set rs billing equals and we'll say current db dot open record set parenthesis open parenthesis close double quote double quote and here we are okay and that's about it now we will open this record set so we'll say rs billing dot add new and we will update that rs billing dot update okay and in here we will actually now provide this information so we'll say you know what okay here's the here's the problem this is not prescription queue okay we should be referring to this table name right because we are going to add the information in the billing table thank god i i i caught that soon otherwise it would have been you know shouting back at us and i'm sure some of you might be shouting at me through the screen hey no no this is not the name of the uh, record set that you want to open all right so thank you for that all right so i was billing dot add new i was billing dot update between these two a line of code we will add the information like you know for example where is the billing table all right so we'll go to the design view and we'll add the visit id so we'll say rs billing exclamation mark visit id equals me dot visit id all right simple now i'm going to copy this a couple of times so i don't have to write each line of code separately now in here what i what i want is the fee due all right remember that how do we how do we give that information well remember if we have already calculated total fee then that should be here okay so fee due is basically equals to total fee which we have calculated using uh, these variables and then what next well collected we will you know if we collect it let's say we'll make it zero because we have not collected yet remember okay why this is rs billing i hope i'm doing it right dim rs billing as record set set rs billing equal and then here's the record set we are going to open that record set and you know okay so collected zero and what else balance it automatically will cal will be calculated and the billing date should be the date when somebody clicked the button called create billing so in here we'll say format now and we will actually go ahead and give the format of the date there we go the format is added now we will have the payment status so payment status equals due because the payment is right now it's due it's not yet collected it will be only changed when we will collect the payment all right remember we have to update the status called uh, you know billing created so that needs to be done right here so we'll say me dot um, status equals uh, billing created all right and other thing i want uh, to happen is I want to actually remember we have a table called trail I want this also be up to be updated so how do we do that well if you remember we will call it right so we'll call call what well we'll call global mod that's the name of the module dot audit that's how we call it once that is done we will then close this rs billing so rs billing dot close by the way you can close the billing here it doesn't matter uh, it's just my sequence i like to do it in this way <laughs> and rs billing dot close and we'll say set rs billing equals nothing okay so actually you can you know you can take all of that you can paste in here or you can leave it there you know it doesn't matter it, it should work that's that's what matters
And also at last, we'll give a message box. We'll say do CMD dot beep message box. And it should be the billing document for this visit has been created. All right. That's about it. So it's a success. We'll say VB information and the header will be information as well. That's it. Now, I, I think I'm missing something. What I'm missing, I have no idea. But I'll see. Okay. If we'll get an error, definitely that's the one uh, part we were missing. But let's see. Okay, let's do a debug. There's nothing as of now as an uh, as an error. So let's close that. Let's close this. The prescription also. Now it's time for testing. So to do the testing, if I'll click on any of the visits, let's say we'll click on visit number one. And in here we have a doctor ABC and we have prescription created. Now let's click on billing. So let's see what happens. So let's click on billing and it says billing created. The billing document for this visit has been created. So we'll click OK. And if everything uh, is done, then we should have a billing created in the billing table and we should have audit trail created. So let's check the audit trail and let's show the billing created in the audit trail as well at what date and time, by whom. Awesome. Now it's time to check the billing table and the billing table says, hey, you have to pay $100. Oh, wow. Why $100? Let's look at that. So staff. $90, Dr. ABC, remember, this is the doctor. So $90 is, is the consultancy fee. And if we look at the prescription table or the query that we created, $10 is RSP. So, you know, that's pretty much it. It is actually getting the information. Now, one thing, uh, well, by the way, we still have to make the billing form. And then we have to put a mechanism to open the billing form from this form and from visit form so we can edit we can collect payment we can do a whole sort of things so that for sure i'll do it in the next video not in this video otherwise this video is going to be a very long video okay uh, but however before i move on i would like to do a mechanism which will uh, lock down this form so basically nothing can be changed after the billing document is created now that's a business logic uh, another business logic right, which we can do that right now i can change the uh, patient i can change the visit time but that should not happen when the billing is created. I want to lock down everything, including these buttons as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And I will go to the uh, property sheet of this form. We'll go to the event tab, onload event dot 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 code builder. And in here, I'm going to have a couple of lines of code. So we'll say if me dot uh, status equals billing created or me dot status equals invoiced then then do what well then me dot allow addition equals false me dot allow uh, deletion equals to false so nothing will be deleted me dot allow edits equals to false so you can see that we're locking down everything me dot btn uh, prescription dot enabled equals to false so we'll lock down those buttons as well so no one can add anything these are business logics by the way so if you don't want to add it's up to you but I would definitely add if I'm giving this application to someone. So if I click on the visit ID 7, which the status is treatment credit, not a billing, I can actually go ahead and change that to appointment or walk-in. I can, you know, write the, um, I can write here, test, you know, I can do all of things. But if I'll go on number one ID, which is the billing created, and guess what? We have a problem here. C-R-E-A-T-E-T. -E well, spelling seems to be correct. Can I change this to appointment? Yes, I can. That means it didn't work. Why it didn't work? Let's see. Okay, we'll go to the onload event. And that's why it didn't work, right? So it says billing create. However, I, you know, this is what I meant, billing created. That's why it didn't recognize that. And it was allowing us to add it. Now, if we will add, if we will try to add something, change something, can we do that? I don't think so. If we we'll change the patient, nothing. If I'll try to change to appointment, nothing. If I'll try to write, nothing. If I want to change the doctor, nothing. Nothing can be added, nothing can be removed, so it won't allow. So access is fantastic in terms of biz, uh, building these business logics. All right, I think that's enough for this video. I think um, it was good. 
i hope so i hope that you have learned something if you have just let me know in the comments below and uh, thank you very much for watching thank you for supporting keep supporting keep watching i uh, really appreciate that and uh, do let me know in the comments below as well that's about it i'll see you in the next one